welcome. You've tuned into a video editing tutorial by Charlotte Reese Photography and today we're going to be discussing and demonstrating something that a lot of I've had a lot of requests for, which is head swaps. Um, now when you're working with multiple dogs, it can sometimes be a bit tricky uh, to get all the dogs looking at you at the same time and get them all in focus. So a technique that I use to address some of the issues that arise when trying to take that sort of shot is I take a lot of shots. So if you have a look at, okay, if you have a look at Lightroom here, uh, I'm just showing the pics at the moment down here, but if we filter by all of the images, not just the pics, you'll see how many I have taken, <laughs> including the maneuvering photos. Um, to try and get this shot. Now we originally weren't really even going to try this because we thought it would be a bit tricky with these guys. Um, but they did just seem pretty happy to just sit there. So, I mean there's a bunch of photos here. Um, there isn't one where all three dogs are looking at the camera and, and it's their best sort of best expression. Um, so, so we've got Miffy on the left looking a bit bored there. Um, so there's probably about, yeah, there's probably about 20 or 30 shots there. So what I've gone and done is flag the ones that I think we can work with. So, okay, so it's basically these four here. So we've got... One here where Nero on the end is sitting up, or two when Nero is sitting up, and then a couple where Nero is actually sitting down. Now that's actually probably the best shot of Nero, the Harlequin on the end there. Um, the best shot of Miffy, which is the blue girl, is probably, I think it was this one, this one here. Also, she was a little bit further back from the other two dogs, so... In the image that I'm going to use as my base, which is this one here, when you zoom in and look at her, she's actually just a bit out of focus. Um, however, the focus is really quite good on Moby and Nero. So I'll use this image as my base image. So I've exported that as a PSD to Photoshop. Um, the donor image for Miffy's head uh, is going to be this one here, which is nice and sharp. So I've exported that as a PSD as well. And I'm going to try and use this image for Nero's head, um, but I'm a little bit concerned about how well it'll work because it's slightly different angle and the background is a little bit different from the donor image. So if you look at this area here, yeah, the background's just a little bit different. Um, so we're going to give it a go. So I'm just going to switch into Photoshop where I have all three PSD files exported and ready to go. So this first one here is going to be our base image and we're basically going to try and put Miffy's head in here and then we're going to have a go with Nero's head as well. So to start with, this is the donor image for Miffy's head. So she's actually just taking a close look at how she's sitting. She's actually sitting just a little bit differently, with a slightly different background in both of these. So I'm actually going to take not just her head, but the whole left hand side of the image here. So I'm just using the lasso tool to select that. And I'm going to switch to the move tool and just drag that selection into my base image. Sort of line it up in a basic kind of way and then I'm going to change the opacity to 50% just so I can see what's underneath that. So it's actually created a, oh, I'll drag my layers palette in here so you can see what I'm doing. So it's created a new layer here uh, with the, the donor part from the other image. So you can either set the opacity using the slider here or you can just have that layer selected and then just press 5 on the keyboard, it'll take it back to 50%. So if you want 70% opacity, you press 7, 1, 10%, you press 1. 
Um, so now I can see her underneath here. So I can line this up. Now, another thing is, I would actually like to have her sitting closer to the other two dogs, just to eliminate, if I shut that layer off, just there's a bit of a gap here. So it would actually be nice to try and get her in a little bit closer. So I'm actually going to move her this way a little bit. And I'm just going to make sure her leg is all lined up properly there. So I'm going to try and put her there to see what we can do. So I'm going to take the opacity back to 100%. Now just taking a sort of a quick look at that and then turning this layer on and off. Now I do think maybe she needs to be just a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to increase the size of this. I mean it's not going to change the quality too much so I think I want fairly safe in increasing the size of this without losing too much resolution. Yeah, I think that looks a bit more realistic. Okay, and then press enter. So to transform that, sorry, Mr. Step, uh, I pressed command T on the keyboard just to get these resizing handles up on that layer. Okay, so now I'm going to chuck a mask on that. So make sure that layer is selected and then come down here um, and add layer mask. So it's added a white mask, which basically means that it's showing through everything. And I'm going to paint in black on that white layer mask to hide particular parts of that layer. So I'm going to change to a brush. And I want to make it a fairly big brush. So I'm just going to increase the size of that brush using the right square brackets tool on the keyboard. Um, I need to make, uh, make sure I'm painting with black, so I need to change this palette over here to black. Make sure I've got the layer mask selected. And now when I paint over the top here, it's going to reveal what's underneath because I'm actually masking parts of this. So I'm just going to try and blend that a little bit. And then I'm just going to blend around the edges of this. Just really, really gently. That's why this brush needs to be so big. Now when I get to her foot, I need to be careful because you want to keep her foot there. Now, see how I'm starting to reveal underneath here? And she looks like she's got two pairs of front legs. Um, I need to fix that up. So what I can do with this mask, the beauty of using a mask instead of just deleting parts of the layer is you can fix it up if you mess up. So I can then change this brush back to a white brush. So I can just press X on the keyboard. If you watch over here, X just switches the swatches from foreground to background. And I can then paint this back in here because we don't want her, we don't want those bits showing through. Okay, so that's pretty much fixed that up. And that's done a reasonably good job even already. So I'm just going to turn this layer off and on to see what I've done. What I'm looking for when I'm turning this off and on is irregularities where the new layer meets the old background. So I'm looking around here to see if anything looks a bit strange. And I think it's actually not too bad. It's not something that you'd notice unless you were really looking for it. Even then, I don't think it's too bad. I'm going to look around this area here just to make sure we don't have any legs showing through from underneath. I think I'd like to just a little bit more of that background there show through. Okay, I think we're pretty good. 
The only bit that's not looking quite right, I think is maybe just here. It's a bit of a leaf out of place. So I think if you look at that, you're not going to really notice anything untoward. And we've got a very nice shot of her in focus, and the other two are in focus, so that's a win. Now I think flicking between having this layer on and off, I think she's actually a little bit darker in the donor image somehow. Even though I copied and pasted the settings in Lightroom, she still ended up a little bit darker. So I'm just going to quickly do levels on this image. So Command L, and I'm just going to bring this middle slider across a little bit to lighten her, and it will also help the background blend in too. So that's before, and that's after. I think that's helped to just lighten, lighten that uh, layer up a little bit. Yep, I think that looks good. Um, okay, moving over to Nero here. Now, the donor image for Nero is this one here. I'm just a bit concerned about the background, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to, again, select quite a lot around him just to sort of see. I'm not quite sure how much of this we're going to need, but I'm going to grab all of him and all his background, drag him into the base image and then that will cre and create a new layer here for us. I'm going to set that to 50% and then position him over the top of the base image. Now I'm just going to do his head lined up to start with because if we can get away with just having the head swap that would be good. I think that's about right. That's my phone ringing. Um, okay, so I'm going to take that back to 100%. I'm going to put a mask on it. I'm going to get a black brush. And then I'm going to start deleting some of this layer. Yeah. I want as much of the base to show to as I can because that's going to line up with the background the best. Now this is where we might run into problems, this shoulder area. Because it doesn't quite line up there. So that is where we might actually use some of the donor image instead. I'm just going to move his move this whole layer over a little bit. So his shoulder, this area here, lines up nicely. See it was a little bit off. I'm just going to move this here. Yeah, that's quite good. Now, the background here that I was worried about actually isn't too much of a concern, but the biggest concern here is this sort of area here. Which I think I'm reasonably happy with. Um, sometimes this is just a matter of painting and repainting oops wrong brush painting and repainting over the mask until you get a really good combination of um, keeping the, the donor layer and also bringing in elements of your sorry keeping your base layer and bringing elements of your donor layer Um, I'm still not quite 
sure what's happening over here. I think that's right. Ah, there we go. It's got it. Okay, great. So if we zoom out, I always recommend zooming out and having a bit of a look. And again, I think this layer is just a tad bit darker. So I don't want to um, I don't want to lighten the whole layer too much because of the white areas on Nero. I don't want them to blow out. So instead, I'm just going to make sure I put that layer selected and just dodge the edges of this. So the green is a little bit lighter. There we go. That blends a little bit better. Okay, so we've got our base layer with Moby in the middle, who we're not going to mess with too much. Is that's that's pretty much the best expression we're going to get out of him. Um, and then we've got Miffy on the left here. So we've moved her a little bit closer, and we've used a donor image where she's in focus and has her eyes open a bit more. And then we have Nero on the right, and. We've given him a bit more of an alert expression. Now I'm just noticing now, I think perhaps that his head is actually a bit smaller in the donor one. So I'm actually going to grab this layer and again make it a little bit bigger. I might have to fix some things up. I think that's better. So, ah, that's better. His head looked like it was shrinking when I turned that layer on before, and now it's pretty good. So I may still have a few little things to fix up here. It's not quite right, but um, yeah, that's probably about 90% done. Um, sweet, so we've gone from this to this. So an image that hopefully the client will be very happy with. All right, well, um, that's it for the head swap, and uh, thanks for listening. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to reply. Um, I'll catch you next time.